right guys, a couple more tips I wanna to talk to you guys about, and it's gonna be on modifying your rattle traps. So here, I have a half ounce rattle trap, but you'll notice something about this bait right off the bat. It's missing a treble hook on the back. And you, you, you would think you would lose a lot of fish like this, but that's not the case. The reason why I do this is I love to fish a rattle trap around wood. People think rattle traps are notoriously known for getting hung up. And generally speaking, yeah, they will get hung up. But if you remove this back treble hook off, you can throw this thing almost like a square bill and come over limbs, laydowns, branches, logs, you name it. Um, I can't tell you how many big fish I've caught throwing up alongside a laydown, coming over the top of the laydown, making that trap kind of hover up on its side, and then it'll come back to true itself, and boom, right on the other side of that log, that female will be waiting to crush it. That's something that I never see guys doing, and it's something I rarely talk about, but that's one of my favorite little modifications to a, to a rattle trap. Uh, another, another modification that I like to do to a rattle trap, and you may have seen this one before, it's a little more popular. Um, you'll add a barrel swivel to that back split ring there, and I'll put a willow leaf blade on there. Uh, silver, gold, what, it doesn't matter. Whatever the color water is, you think is gonna have the best flash, but that just adds a little flash to the already cool sound and very lifelike bait fish imitating action that the rattle trap is known for. So those are two quick tips that I like to use as I'm traveling around on tour that get me a few extra bites. All right guys, so now we got our rattle trap. We got that back hook removed. We're in a scenario that I was talking about where you can really fish these things in some heavy cover. You take that back hook off and let her rip. So I'll just throw this thing right here, short cast, right into the heart of all that wood, and boom, it just comes right over the top. And you saw it right there as it came up and it turned on its side. A lot of times that's when those fish will come out of that cover and smash that bait as it's coming back down. So here's the situation. We got a big lay down that's under the water a little bit, but you can see some of the branches sticking up. I'm gonna run this rattle trap right through the heart of this, which is gonna be right where that fish is gonna lay. You can see I'm coming in contact with all that wood, boom, it bounces right off that main log, and that's generally where you're gonna get your strike. Let's do it again. See it roll up right there? Again, that's where that strike takes place. The reason this technique works so good is because as this trap's coming through that cover, it's coming in nose down like this here. So it's digging, 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 digging. Then all of a sudden it comes in contact with that wood and then it rolls on its side. It hasn't lost its action and it hasn't lost its sound, but it's rolling on its side, digging, 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 and it literally rolls over the piece of structure. What ends up happening when you have two hooks is as it goes to roll, that back treble hook gets caught on that log, boom, and then now you're snagged. So just a simple adjustment, removing one back hook is gonna allow you to fish this bait in situations where you never could put it in places you could never put this bait before. And I promise you, you're gonna catch a lot more fish and some bigger strikes when you give this a try. So I know the obvious question that you guys are gonna have is, without that back hook, what's the catch ratio like? And honestly, the nature of the beast of fishing any sort of reaction bait, whether it's a crankbait, a trap, a topwater, a spook, you name it, you're gonna lose some fish. But what you're gaining is so much more because there's, there's, there's not many guys placing rattle traps in areas where you can place it now by taking off that back hook. And trust me, pound and a half, two pound bass, when they come to get this bait, they're not trying to just eat the tail. They're trying to eat this thing head first and they want it down their throat and more times than not, you're gonna catch that bass. Are you gonna lose some? Of course. You're gonna lose some on any lure you put in the water, but you'll find yourself getting more strikes by putting this in places that have never seen a rattle trap before.